Austria is seen as one of the best places to live in Europe with an average pay of £3,790 per month and a maximum salary range of £16,900 per month. However, the process of migrating to Austria seems way easier for European countries. Non-Europeans are required to obtain a work visa or job seeker visa to gain residence or employment opportunities in the country. From my knowledge, as of now, only Germany and Austria offers job seeker visa. However, I'm still researching on this topic. So today I'll cover Austria's job seeker visa as I've already covered Germany's job seeker visa in one of my previous videos, which you can watch from my links provided in the video description. Also, Austria follows the same point-based system as the UK and they also have different types of visa categories like work visa, student visa, tourist visa. But today I'll focus only on job seeker visa. Before I start, to my new viewers, I'm Sarika and welcome to my channel. Please do consider liking and subscribing if you're finding my videos useful as it will help me with YouTube algorithm. So without any further delay, let's get started with today's agenda. So agenda one is what is job seeker visa? Agenda two, how long can you stay? In Austria on job seeker visa number three eligibility criteria number four how to collect 70 points number five documents needed to apply for a job seeker visa number six what can you do on a job seeker visa number seven who issues out the job seeker visa number eight how and where to apply job seeker visa number nine processing time for this visa number 10 cost of job seeker visa number 11 Austria shortage occupation list and agenda number 12 my recommendation so let's start with agenda number one. What is job seeker visa? As the name suggests, it is a job seeker visa, which means you can come and look for a job in Austria. This visa is issued to highly qualified non-European citizens who are looking for a job in Austria, but do not have a job offer. However, you cannot work on this visa, but only search for a job. Job seeker visa in Austria is not limited to job seeker, but also entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs are allowed to apply for a visa under the self-employment key worker route. Agenda 2. How long can you stay in Austria on job seeker visa? So this job seeker visa is valid only for six months. So if you happen to find a job during this period, you can switch to their work visa called as Red White Red RWR card, which is given to high qualified workers. Now, agenda number three, eligibility criteria. To be eligible for job seeker visa, applicants need to score a minimum of 70 points out of maximum of 100 points based on the points criteria system which includes like graduation from an institution of higher education special qualifications and skills special qualifications and skills in the subjects mathematics informatics natural science or technology postdoctoral qualification or phd research and innovation activities awards work experience language skills age studies in Austria. You can read more details from their government site. Agenda 4. How to collect 70 points. Reaching a minimum of 70 points according to the following list of criteria is a prerequisite for a job seeker visa and also their work permit which is similar to UK's point based system. As you can see from the table under category 1 which is special qualification and skills you can score maximum 40 points here like graduation from an institution of higher education like your bachelor's you can score 20 points now if you have studied maths informatics natural science or technology you can score another 30 points if you have done your phd you can score 40 points here now next point is gross salary of previous year earned in a senior management position with the company listed on the stock exchange or a company for which the Austrian Foreign Trade Office in charge issued a positive report about its activities or business segment. So for salary 50,000 to 60,000 euros, you can gain 20 points. For salary 60 to 70,000, you can gain 25 points. And for salary more than 70,000 euros, you can gain 30 points. Now, next is research and innovation activities. You can earn 20 points here. If you have gained awards and recognized prizes, you can earn another 20 points as well. Now, let's look at category two, work experience where you can earn maximum of 20 points. Category three is language skills where you can earn maximum of 10 points. Like if you know German or English at A1 level, you can get five points. And for level A2, you can gain 10 points. Now, category four, age where you can earn maximum 20 points like if you are up to 35 years of age you can get 20 points up to 40 years of age you can get 15 points up to 45 years of age you can get 10 points now category 5 if you have done your studies in austria you can earn maximum 10 points 
Like if you did diploma, you can get five points. And if you did bachelor's or master's, you can get 10 points. Now, agenda five, documents needed to apply for a job seeker visa. So these documents include like birth certificate, proof of acquired accommodation, proof of health insurance, proof of travel document, passport, photograph, proof of financial backup, tax statement, work experience, proof of proficiency and language skill, pay slips, pay certificates, and employment contracts. Agenda six, what can you do on job seeker visa? Like I said, you can only look for a job but cannot work on a job seeker visa. Agenda seven, who issues out the job seeker visa? Job seeker visas are issued by the Austrian embassy. This Austrian representation organization is in charge of issuing visas to eligible applicants. Application forms are picked up from these representative bodies in your home country or residence. Agenda eight, how and where to apply for job seeker visa? You have to apply for the job seeker visa, which is category D visa, personally at the competent Austrian representation embassy in your home country or your country of residence. Application forms are available at the Austrian representative authority. You will receive a job seeker visa if the public employment service confirms to the Austrian representative authority that you have reached the points required for admission. Please check out the official links provided in my video description. Agenda 9. Processing time for this visa. It is generally 2 to 3 months depending on the embassy. Agenda 10. Cost of job seeker visa. So it's 150 euro and 166 USD. Agenda 11, Austria shortage occupation list. Like UK, even Austria got its shortage occupation list. However, I have noticed two differences. One, in the UK, there's only one shortage occupation list, which is at the national level. However, in Austria, there's a national and also regional shortage occupation list. Number two, the kind of jobs which are in UK shortage occupation list is very different to Austria. Example, in Austria, I can see technicians, construction joiners, train driver, concrete fitters, pipe installers, pipe fitters, electrical installers, carpenters, floor and wall tilers, welders, optician, building plumbers, bricklayers to name a few in shortage occupation list. So if you're not able to find visa sponsorship job in the UK, please expand your search to Austria as you will have high chance to get success. You can go through the full list from the link provided in my description. Now, agenda number 12. It's time for my recommendation. So from my research, I can see the points which you need to collect for a work visa and job seeker visa is the same, which is 70 points. So my suggestion is to try and find job first via different job sites like LinkedIn, Monster, Stepstone, Glassdoor, The Local, Hayes Austria, Manpower Austria and many more. If you get lucky, you can directly get your work permit, which is called Red White Red Card in Austria. Austria shortage occupation list is very different from the UK. So people who are not getting lucky in the UK try Austria either on job seeker visa or work permit. So thanks for watching this video till the end and do let me know if you found this video useful or not. I will see you guys soon with my next video till then keep learning.